Hello guys, I'm MPV here and we're doing another video on the Roma career mode. It's the fourth episode guys, and sorry about last episode about the audio, something corrupted and it was just an, a complete muck up really. It corrupted, <laughs> that's all I have to mention about that. But in this episode guys, I have got something in store for you guys out there. We have got Atletico Madrid away at Juventus and Sporting Lisbon guys, what a games. Probably the last one isn't really the least important. I mean, Sport Act Lisbon guys, they're a team. I won't really rate, but um, in these three games, guys, I'm going to skin them because I don't want to play these guys. I mean, Sandoria, I don't want to play. Jezena, I don't want to play either. They're, that's a team we should beat and really should beat with our, even our second team at home, guys. We can win that. Um, Chizvena or Chiveno or something like that. The team we should be at home, but we should have these three important games off it, guys. This won't be a pre-contract, -con pre-post-com um, one, guys. This will be going forward and seeing, basically playing every game here. And our first game is against Atletico Madrid, guys. Let's get into this one, guys. Here we are. It's against Atletico Madrid in the Champions League. What a game this is! It's the hardest game in the group. I mean, guys, I'm looking to get out the group easy in Champions League, and I want to get to at least the quarterfinals in this cup, guys, or I'll be very sad. But listen, guys, I have picked up recently on Next Gen and getting very good on Next Gen, really, in all fairness, guys. So I think this should be quite good for me. Um, playing a team that, um, that are quite good, guys. So let's um, just skim forward here and see what um, is going to do. Standy Olympico is packed for this one, guys. The Roma fans are desperate for a win, and I'm going to give them a win. They've got Godin there. They've got a very, very strong team of Atletico Madrid. I think we can put it past them. Though. Let's go and check our team. Guys, you go and check it. It's the same. It's our strongest lineup that I've gone up with. Arguably my strongest lineup. We've got um, Dumbi and Ababo up front. Hopefully, they can do the damage here against the Atletico Madrid side. Obviously, Mandzukic will be a danger against us because he is a strong, strong guy, guys. Once he gets into position, he's dangerous. So, Mandzukic, he's got up front. They've got Edin Dzeko, guys. So, obviously, my big defenders. This is why I bring in the bulgy guys, because we're going to have some big, big, big guys coming up against us in this game here. Hopefully, the team can develop it. Let's get into this one against Atletico Madrid in the Champions League. Let's go. Pass. Pass the sidey. Pass the sidey, Ababo. Pass him. Go on, Ababo. That's a penalty! Referee! Oh my goodness, that should be a penalty, man! Oh my god, and Saidi, please. That's a booking referee. He just fouled me from behind because I got past him with Arbo. Yeah, so Saidi's booked for us, guys. We have a dangerous free kick. Right, what a chance for Pianic, guys. Let's try and see what Pianic is. He's a right footer, so we need a left footer for this one. A turbo, guys. He has a decent free kick on him. Let's see if we can bend this over the wall now. A turbo, a turbo. Ooh. He's a left footer, guys. So I thought, you know what? Let's try it with a left footer because that could be dangerous from there. Well, that's half time, guys. We have um, nil nil so far. I can't complain. Let's come into a very good team, guys. Obviously, got to the final last year. It's going to be hard for us going into this game guys but we've just managed a nil nil draw guys which um um i, w I don't know what my comments are on it basically sometimes i panic i've just got to learn not to panic when i'm um, defending guys because sometimes it can be rubbish at it but i think we won't have any chances it's been quite a boring game so far in all fairness if you look at the stats there it's been quite a boring game so far i'm trying to pass it around trying to get the ball trying to get the ball up to the pitch but I've got to change it around a wee bit now, guys, because um, I'm going to bring on Strootman for... Um, no, I'm gonna, not going to change this now. I'm not going to make any changes before we get into the second half here. Let's go. Right, Dumbia, Dumbia. Go on, Dumbia. Get the ball. Get the ball and run with it, son. Dumbia. Dumbia, no. How have you missed that? Are you kidding me? How have you missed that? That is beyond me how he's missed that. 
How are you so clinical in the league and you're not clinical here? I need you to be clinical. Reggie's gonna give us one last chance here. This game, mm, it's a no-no draw. In all fairness, it's a, this game is really, it's no-no draw. I would take it any day of the week, guys. But um, I have to say it was, and I don't know, I'm, I've mixed emotions about this draw against Atletico Madrid. We played well in this game. I thought we deserved something out of it, really, in all fairness. De Rossi, he really, he was bad today, guys. I did not like De Rossi. He has on bad form. His passes were horrendous that game. But let's, get, let's just get into the second game now against Juventus, because De Rossi, potential international management jobs. Hmm. Hmm, De Rossi was bad there, guys. I might swap it out and put Strootman in there if I have to. For the game against Juventus because he was bad really really he was shocking to Rossi that game was passing but anyway let's get into the second game here and it's against Juventus right guys the massive it's time for the clash of the Titans in the Serie A it's us versus Juventus oh my goodness well basically let's check out the teams here once again guys we're gonna shake hands Obviously, my favourite player in the whole Juventus team is Pogba. They have Pogba. They have um, Buffon, who's an absolute legend on this game. Yeah, no Pogba. That is very surprising for me. I think there's no Pogba in that team. There is Buffon, who's an absolute legend, guys. Absolute love him. And um, basically, Lichten style playing at right wing. I would not go for it myself, but again, he's playing there. But that's a very good team for um, us today. It's a very strong team. It's the same team as last episode. No, it's not the same team as um, Atletico Madrid's guy. Um, it's a very, very strong team here. Buffon, absolute legend. A player for the history books, definitely. Because the saves he makes, he deserves a legend card. He's a, le he's a new legend goalkeeper. In five years, guys, when he finally hangs up his boost, Buffon, he will get a legend card of Gear 15. See, he, he, he's insane, guys. I love Buffon. And basically, let's just see the referee putting down the ball. Let's just kick off now. Nine gone! Nine go one! Oh my god! Nine go one! Oh my god! <laughs> no, Reggie, nine go one! The Belgian tank scores for us. Look at this! He just took on the whole team. Look at that! Bang! One nil up, and this one gets in! That's us 1 0 up in the Serie A clash of the Titans. And it's Reggie Bloody Nyango one. Look, he's telling that defence some otherwise. He looks like um some a very, very angry man telling that team that, you know, this is this is about this is the way we're playing. This is the way we are coming here to give you a game. We're taking the game to you, Juventus. Come on. Go on a turbo. No, that's a foul referee. Right, we have a chance here, guys. We have an absolute chance here from the free kick. We have a chance, guys, with Pjanic. We're going to do the same as last time. Oh, my goodness, no, Pjanic. Oh. If that went down a wee bit, we would have scored that. Oh, my God, that was close. Oh. Pjanic is the masterclass at free kicks, guys. He should have scored that. In all Ibarbo. Ibarbo. We have a chance to make it too. Ibarbo. Victor Ibarbo. Victor Ibarbo. 2 0 against Juventus. Who would have seen this coming? Roma coming and beating Juventus. Two goals to nil. Suddenly, Ibarbo has turned into form. He was rubbish in the last game. He's done this in this game. He's such a legend. Victory Babo. A dangerous, dangerous man when you give him space. We are 2-0 up against Juventus now. Guys, so come on. Good. Right, guys, that's half time here. And a very eventful first half here at the Juventus Stadium. We are 2-0 up. Who would have seen it? Who would have called it? Roma coming here to a team that obviously... I think definitely, in my opinion, are going to win the league this year, or they're the team that are favourites to win the league, and they're expected here. We're expected to come here, and um, yeah, we're expected to come here and not win game, lose it. 
But, I mean, Juventus are obvious favourites, but we are going here and we are winning 2-0, guys. And we have given Juventus. We've given them a run for their money, this one. We've came here and took the game to them. But I'm going to change the team up line the second half, be more defensive, and put on last guy who's got a medium, medium playing technique, guys. And we're going to check if anyone can play at left back this game, guys, because if I have anyone who can play left back on my bench. Friends who can play right back could get away playing him left back. Third foot right. Vast preferred foot is right, but he's got three star skills, so it's both the same. But that's my only change. Vast coming on for a turbo, because a turbo, guys, he's getting low on energy, and we need him for the ne next couple of games, guys. There goes the Barbo. A Barbo. Sweaty. Reggie. Reggie Nyan Golan. A absolute tank scores his second of the game and puts us 2 0, 3 0 up against Juventus here. I swear, this is on the same difficulty as Atletico Madrid. It's unbelievable, guys. Who would have thought this? Who would have thought this? Reggie Nyan Golan with two goals. He's such a tank on this game. Oh my goodness, let's get and see how many goals you can get in this game. From this game, Victor Barbo. he's going to touch. He's going to bang it. Oh my goodness, again, Buffon, how are you making these saves? Well, that is it. That is it. We have won 3-0 against Juventus. Oh my goodness, look how Roma have played in this game, guys. Who would have absolutely who would be believed that we have won this game 3-0 against Juventus right, let's just get into the next one guys I think it is Hector Ver no it's not Hector Verona put in the last game but we have won and beaten Juventus and we have done what I would believe is the impossible guys in my opinion we have beaten Juventus by a massive Three goals to nil. Oh my goodness. Well, guys, Chaveno here in this game here, and I'm going to play my strongest team. This will be a skimmed one. So let's just see how this team goes. See how they get the win against Chaveno, guys. I hope they get the win. Pjanic has scored, guys. Dumbia is on a goal drought, guys. We the tiniest of goal droughts. He's always oh, ended it now. Dumbia's just scored again. <laughs> Barbo 3-0. We could see a right here. Oh, Pascal. No, Pascani scored. Gabarin is coming on for them. Dumbia has made it four. Second of the afternoon. Dumbia again has made it five. And that's the final score, guys. We have beaten Chaveno five goals to one. And we are doing very strong in the league here. And we come into this next game here, which is again with Sportac Lisbon, guys. Let's get into this one against Sport at Lisbon. Here we are, guys. Sport at Lisbon versus Roma in the Champions League. I could do with a win here. Really, after last time's performance, guys. Last time out, we won 5 1, and we bet Juventus the last time I played, which was perfect for us. But Sport at Lisbon, guys, Bayern Leverkusen, bottom of the group. We need a win, guys, to help us. I mean, last episode, guys, I think it was a very boring game against Atletico Madrid last time out again in Champions League. But this team's pretty decent. Let's go and check the lineups of both teams. Sport at Lisbon have a very strong team. Obviously, five-star skill and Nani in there. We've also got um, Cantanilo, Sendrick, one of the good young players in this career mode sort of thing. They've got a decent team. William Cavallo, another great young player. But for us, guys, I just wanted to skim and show you our team. Because basically it's the same as last time we're going with the same team that started against Javino. Because it is a very strong team, guys. No, come on, Jimmy. Dumbia! He's done it again. Dumbia has done it again. 1 0 up against Sportac Lisbon in the Champions League. And Dumbia, man, he is on fire. I think this is. Wait, I'm not sure, but this might be his first goal in the Champions League. And it's just a nice header over against Sport at Lisbon here to give us the lead. First goal in the Champions League for Dumbia. And that's what really was coming for the lad. He was scoring goals for us in this league and he really deserved a chance to get a goal in this one. Well, guys, 
Again, Sport at Lisbon, decent, strong team. And we're winning. They're definitely a team that are going to finish in top three of Portugal. But we've beaten them and we have gone. A very good win for us um, against a Sport at Lisbon side that are pretty decent. You no, know, half time drawing of 1 0, Dumbia. We wanted to win this game, guys. I was coming out for the win here. And we've won, guys. But I'm going to change it about a wee bit. We're going to bring a turbo off and then bring on a Vass. And the problem really shocked me is I haven't used Totti this career mode yet. Because this team, I haven't really changed it. Because it's so insane. I really like it. So the one change is Vass is coming on for, um, what's his name, um, a turbo. Those two are going to keep on switching about this year. Oh my goodness. I don't care anymore. This is how I do it. We need a goal and the Barbo gets us a second. This is really, guys, I don't care. I That is a pure sweaty goal. That I tramp that every single day of the week. But we need to have a chance to score, guys. And as against the computer, I can do what I want, really, in all fairness. But yeah. Barbo! Oh, my goodness. Well, that's it, guys. We've won the game by two goals to nil here in Portugal. And it's a fantastic victory for us, guys. Ababo and Dumbi are on the score sheet for our Roma. It's a fantastic win for us. We'll definitely take a 2-0 win in the Champions League. We'll, we'll, we will, I swear, guys, we will take a win in the Champions League. Oh, my goodness. But we come up against here against um, Sampdoria. Come on. That's just, that's, this is very long. The last two games, guys, are going to be skimmed ones because I haven't bothered playing games. And we have just been on a winning streak in the Serie A. Hopefully, it can continue here. I'm not going to skim through the whole match. One all draw, guys. I will take that. We are st still at the top of the league. We have Chazena again. Ooh, I think Florence did transfer request there, but he's not getting a game at this club, right? Dumbia. Well, guys, that is it. Next episode, I'm going to show you what we have in store for you guys next episode. We have, we'll have Napoli, Atletico Madrid. We'll have a Napoli, Atletico Madrid. Um, we will have Napoli, Atletico Madrid, Bayern Leverkusen. And basically, it's a, basically, we'll have one game in the league, which will be a way to Napoli. Before we have Atletico Madrid and Bayern Leverkusen. No, we'll have Atletico Madrid. Um, and Bayern Leverkusen. So three games next episode as well. But before we start, we have Inter in the next next one as well, guys. We'll have Inter before we go into December, which is obviously um, Sassuolo. I'll be skimming. So we'll have three games. We'll have Girona, Milan, and Sporting in the next um, in the next episode. And this one here, guys, is um, just basically January and what what could be expecting in January. Um, transfer window is a couple of months away from us so guys thank you for watching this episode of aroma career mode smash that like button if you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one goodbye